Hello beautiful and welcome to a new makeup releases on a Sunday again. Who remember when this used to be Sundays? I will admit I am a kept alive barely by caffeine at this point. I came home from the event with Glamlight and Fresh Pins in Bel Air, which is what I'm wearing. If you're interested in this collection, that was yesterday's video. I put up a little bonus video just going through the collection, swatching it, doing this look right here, letting you know what I think about the collection. This one is live right now on the Glamlight website. I will link that down below in case you're interested together with the video. But I had a lot of problems getting home. American canceled my flight twice. So actually my husband ended up driving to Dallas to get me and I was home at 4.30, I was gonna say yesterday, today, this morning. So I am very, very tired. I'm being kept alive by caffeine and we are gonna go through some of the new makeup releases. If I miss something, it's because I'm one foot in the grave. One foot in the grave, I'm doing the best I can, but we're just gonna go through some of the new makeup releases because I have some stuff I wanna talk about. I have some stuff I wanna share with you, but if I miss anything, we'll do that on Friday because I'm having a near death experience. So let me scoochie scoochie to the sign. <laughs> let me bring this one. And let's start talking about the fact that Lethal Cosmetics finally, finally has shown the Avatar The Last Airbender collection that they're gonna do. I think this one is releasing on Friday. Um, yes, it is releasing on Friday, May 31st, and you can buy it at lethalcosmetics.com. I don't know if they're gonna uh, release this on Camera Ready Cosmetics as well. You're gonna have to check out the website, but it's really easy to order from Lethal Cosmetics as well. They have really good customer service. And I will be doing a video on this collection. I do have this video downstairs. I have not even open the package. That's the level of exhaust that I am at, but I am so excited. I will have a video, fingers crossed, on this collection tomorrow, Monday, because I really want to show you what this one is all about, but I do need to sleep a little bit, and I wanted to do more than one look with that collection. That's why I'm doing the glam light one first. I hope you understand, but it looks really beautiful. I like that they did several different palettes. I can only imagine how much thought, effort, and capital that has gone into this collection. There are liquid liners, there are eyeshadow palettes, there are lippies, a highlighter, a, a like a glittery eyeliner, a makeup bag, and that is the My Cabbages makeup sponge, which is so cute. I do know that my package does not have the lipstick or lipsticks. I don't know if it's one more because I know they had a delay in that one but there are lipsticks available for purchase that just weren't able to include it in the PR package. But if you are interested in this collection, just know I will have a full video on this one, hopefully tomorrow. And if it doesn't end up being tomorrow, it will be Tuesday, but I'm hoping tomorrow, a bitch just needs to sleep a bit. <laughs> something else that I also have that I wanna do something on, and this is the new Coastal Palette by Simply Posh Cosmetics. I think this is so pretty. I'm so excited for this one for summer. If you have been following my channel for a bit, if you've been watching my indie reviews, you know that I, when I was ranking palettes, I put the um, Aurora Lights, the Simply Posh Cosmetics palette I had before this one as number one when I ranked palettes. It is beautiful. You can use my code and you can get some money off. It is just such a pretty palette and I cannot wait. And also the, I think the restock also, let me think. So the pre-order of this one, plus the restock of the Citrus Punch, plus the restock of the Aurora Lights, I think that happened yesterday. So if you were interested, go to their website. And like I said, you can get some money off. This is just beautiful. And again, I also have this one downstairs. I have not even opened the package. I will do something because I love their quality. I love their color stories. And I'm excited to see how light those shades are, if they're light enough to be an inner corner highlight. Just looking at them, I'm thinking they're not. So I'm gonna bring in something else, but it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. So yeah, I will leave a link to this one down below as well. And you will be seeing this one on my channel in one way or another because I love their quality and I cannot wait to try this one. Last Friday, I did let you know that Nomad Cosmetics was gonna reveal and show their new collection on Saturday after, and they have now showed the new Nomad Air palettes. And I did have a video where I swatched these and I used them. It was a four indie palettes, for looks. I love doing those videos and I am so happy that you seem to like them too. They don't get the most views on my channel, but the ones who watch them really seem to enjoy them. And I will say it's one of my favorite videos to film. So thank you so much for enjoying them because I really enjoy them too. And if you wanna hear my thoughts about this collection, I did include this one as number four, all three palettes. It's not my favorite from Nomad. They have done way better from before. I 
don't hate it. I mean, I love Nomad. I have a coat with Nomad. I think Nomad is a great brand, but this one was a little weaker than what I'm used to from the brand. And I'm not talking about the color stories. So if you want to hear my thoughts about that, I will leave that video down below as well. I think that they can do better than this. It's not bad. It's just that I'm used to something really, really good. And I do like the color stories though. I think the color stories are good. I just think the quality, it's in the 100% there, which is a shame. I also wanted to talk about this one. And when I saw this one, I was like, <laughs> did I not say that I thought that lip crayons was going to have like a comeback? Because I'm like, I feel like a lot of the old things, like old things are new again. And I felt like after the squeezy tube with lip glosses, I felt like lipstick crayons could be the next thing to have a revival. So we saw the ones from Ilia, was that last week or the week before? And now Pat McGrath is releasing some um, crayons as well. And I'm like, could this be the start of something? Did I actually predict a trend that might be happening? We're seeing a couple, NARS also re released theirs. So at least we've seen three releases of them. I'm excited to see where this is going. I will say, I think the color choices are really nice. A bunch of nudes, some pinks, some like bright colors as well. Do I need this? I don't know. It kind of depends on what, it says a comfortable texture, but what is that? Like comfortable? Yeah, I would hope so. Comfortable texture, matte finish, but it looks shiny in the swatches. So I can't, it's one of those where I'm like, I'm not gonna order it, but maybe I can visit a Sephora. $29, not affordable, not affordable, but not as exp A lot of you were tagging me in this new brand that is at Sephora that they do know how to charge a pretty penny for their stuff. So there are uh, three different things that have launched from this brand. There is a lip pencil. This is from, let me see, uh, Farah Homidi. It's clearly a luxury brand. I've never heard about them before. It says Essentialist Beauty, and it is available now at Sephora with three different products. It is a velvety lip pencil, $36. That's $36. That's more than the Pat McGrath lip crayon for their lip pencil. Then there is a lip refillable compact, which is a lipstick and a lip balm in a compact, which is like my absolute least favorite way of delivering a lip product. Balm and a lipstick in a compact. Absolutely not. $88. Someone's been smoking something at that office. And then we have the, I think this is like a face compact. It's the Essential Face Compact Refill, again, refillable concealer and foundation. But it doesn't seem super big. And again, this is also $88. And I'm just like, it's, that's a lot of money for a compact with that. Also, can we look at this? just like pictures of the models. What is the expressions on some of these? Like, I feel like they like snapped the picture mid sentence when they asked the model if she wanted a glass of water. And she's like, I am very confused by this entire launch. Um, maybe it's amazing. Maybe it's amazing. I will say I am not against paying a pretty penny for a product, but I am not this channel isn't about luxury makeup. Every now and then I try some luxury, especially if something I'm very excited in. But what we do here is a mix of mainstream and indie, and I mostly dabble in affordable and mid-range and high-end. I rarely go into luxury for the main reason that like, I think you can get an equally good product for a lesser price tag. And sometimes even with an equally good like packaging, because I am about packaging. I think good packaging is important, but I don't think you need to pay $88 for good packaging. You might disagree, but I don't know. If people end up loving this brand. Listen, I'm easily convinced. I might like be considered an influencer, but oh my God, I am so easily influenced. If somebody says they love something, I'm already at the Sephora website. We also have seen a sneak peek of a new collection from Flower Beauty. This is the Midsummer Fairy Tales collection. It's really fun to see them like do a collection that's based on a Nordic, um, because I mean, we celebrate Midsummers in the Nordic countries, especially in Sweden. It's our second biggest a holiday after Christmas, Midsummer's is our biggest one. And every time I say that, they're like, oh, is it like the movie? I'm like, the movie is a made up cult. No, it's a holiday. <laughs> 
we celebrate. We don't bring people into a cult, but I'm very excited to see something like this. I love Midsummers. I miss Midsummers. And also there are some other news from, this is Flower Nose, like I said, and you can find that at Flower Nose, but also Flower Nose have made debut in the US and they are now available at Urban Outfitters. There are a couple of like more, I don't want to say obscure brands, but not like super well-known brands that are sold at Urban Outfitters. And I thought that was really fun. And I'm like, oh, they're bringing in um, Flower Nose. And I actually think they will fit in very well at Urban Outfitters. I really like Urban Outfitters. It's a fun store to go into. They have some really fun, quirky home decor as well. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that. Maybe you're like me and you like Urban Outfitters. Just know that Flower Nose, I don't know, are they going to be in store too? I have no idea, but I did see them on the website. LYS is continuing to release stuff in their stick format. It seems to be a very popular like version for them. And now they're doing the highlighter ones, three different shades, and it is available on the Sephora website and they are $20 each. I feel like LYS is a really good like mid-range brand. They're not priced ex like super expensive. They're not a high-end brand, but they're not like, um, honestly, $20 is like a L'Oreal price. Let's, isn't that like a L'Oreal price? So I'm excited. Maybe I'll try this one out. Am I gonna throw myself at the website to order it? Maybe not but I still think it's an exciting release. One brand that I think is like super underrated, I actually love quite a few products from, is Iconic London. And they have released two new products. One of them is a blurring blush stick. This is $26, again, like more a mid-range brand. And I think it's three different colors. It's like a peach, a darker pink, and a lighter pink. And I tried, a while ago, I did a sponsored segment on my Instagram with their cream palette and the cream palette is really good quality. I mean, there's a reason why I accepted the sponsorship and it's because it's really good quality and the blushes in there are really beautiful. And if you could have that formula in like a blush stick, I think that's a really, really good idea. I kind of hope that they will do that with the highlighters and the bronzers too. And they're also releasing a Cloud Kiss Matte Lip Mousse. Matte lips are coming back. I'm ready. I say as I'm wearing a gloss, but like I'm ready. I love a good matte lip. That's not like, we don't want the crusty. We don't want the crumbly. We don't want the ones that are falling off your lips, but I love a good matte lip. These colors are so beautiful and Iconic London makes really good lip products. These are $25.42, which is a very specific pricing. I'm wondering, is that Oh, maybe it's on their website and that's the conversion. I'm not 100% sure. Iconic London usually comes to Ulta as well, but these shades look really beautiful. And I'm wondering if this could be the same formula as the ABH like lip velvets. Cause that formula is so good. I did buy um, two, I think, two of the Juvia's Place velvet, the new velvet colors, and they are being delivered today. So I'm super excited to be trying those out as well. Fenty has revealed, maybe even released. Yeah, there's an early access. I don't know if it's only on the Fenty website. I'm sure, these are gonna come both maybe to Ulta and Sephora. I don't know. I will say Fenty as of late, they're available at Sephora, they're available at Ulta, but they don't release everything at the same time or everything at the both places. It's a bit interesting, but this is their summer collection. So they have uh, the Gloss Bomb Lip Oil very intrigued to be trying this one out and see what their kind of lip oil is. Then our liquid eyeliners are glittery and then there are the baked blushes. Definitely, definitely want to try these. I wonder if it's the same formula as these, the highlighters. Um, you can see mine is a little bit cracked. This one is in Yum Rum. Super beautiful formula. I'm wondering if it's as fragile as those because I feel like they look a little similar in texture. Definitely will be trying that and the lip oils out. Glittery eyeliners, I don't really need that, especially not in like bronzy golds. But I think this is a nice summer collection. She's bringing out some new stuff. It's a small collection. It's like, it's not too many things. It's in summery colors. I actually think that this is a very nice, well-rounded summer collection that is like fun and new and exciting but not too much, not too overwhelming. Speaking of summer collections, Refi is coming out with the Summer Color Lip and Cheek Collection. And it seems to be two different colors, like a more pinky red, and then a more like, like it, almost like a corally pink, and then one that's more of an orange. Love me a good orange, but these are lip blush, cream blush, and tinted lip oils. 
I think this is really fun. And again, it's the same with the Fenty one. It's small, it's compact, it's not too much. It's a little bit like fun summery colors. It's not overwhelming. I've only tried one thing from Refi and that is the, I keep saying Refi and Refi, I keep interchange. I still don't know which one is correct. I keep hearing people say different things. The concealer, I really like the concealer. It reminds me a lot of the House Labs concealer, but um, not as full coverage. I think the House Labs concealer is full coverage. I think this one is a medium coverage. This one is a little bit more liquidy than the House Labs, but it dries down similarly, if you were wondering about this concealer. This one, I've been using it a lot, and I think this will be a good concealer for summer for me, because I don't like a full coverage concealer during the summer usually. But I think that this collection is really nice. It is available, again, at the Sephora website, and you buy them as a set, and it's $45 for a set. I don't think that's a bad price at all. Tarte is coming out with a loose powder. Have you seen how many brands are coming out with loose powders or new shades of loose powders the past like couple of months? It's been a lot of powders. I love me a good powder. So, I mean, that's exciting, but this is the new uh, creaseless under eye loose setting powder from Tarte. There's a bunch of different shades, which I think is a really good idea. I think it comes with the poof. Camera ready with a poof for precise application. I don't know if it comes with a poof or if they sell the poof separately. 10 different shades is quite a lot. The packaging is really beautiful. I do think it might come with the poof. I love setting powder with the poof. I currently use the poof that I have for my own brand, Cinch Beauty, but I, you can never have too many poofs. And especially like some, poof, not all poofs are created equal. <laughs> and if this is a really nice luxurious one, that could be really good. I wonder if it's like the net. Doesn't it like in the picture, doesn't it look like it's the net? Those are not always my favorite, but it depends on how much powder they let through. Speaking of loose powders, this is the loose powder from Giorgio Armani. This is the new setting powder. It is a silky smooth powder that absorbs excess sebum. So excess like oil on your skin, feels smooth on the skin and gives a natural glow. So it's supposed to be a matte, but not flat, I guess. But it also contains 30% skincare which I'm like, how is it supposed to be keeping you matte if it has 30% skincare? Giving the skin a cooling feeling like a water mist. Is this gonna be one of those powders that people end up hating because like it has like that like blotchy effect on the skin that just looks super, cause I've seen some of those powders and it looks like really heavy on the skin. I am intrigued, but like Giorgio Armani has a very expensive price point, but I could be convinced. I could be convinced because I love myself a good powder and it does sound, I mean, it sounds exciting. Doesn't it sound exciting? I think it sounds super exciting. There's also a new fragrance coming from Fleur. People love Fleur. I have a couple of fragrances from Fleur I really like. I like Tangerine Boy the most and I also really love um, Father Figure, but I don't love Father Figure as much as some people because I feel like it's slightly too floral for me. And I think with Fleur, they have a tendency of making these like more almost like skin-like, sometimes a little too florally fragrances that are not like my absolute favorite. And this one is called Soft Spot. And this is a intimacy intoxicating uh, skin on skin fragrance, which is, like I said, that's what the uh, missing person is. Like a very like there, but not there fragrance, which some people love, but not for me. Like I wanna smell like a sophisticated piece of grass, a fizzy drink, a spicy tobacco cigar, a smoky jazz club. I don't want to smell like nothing. It's for some people and it's lovely on a lot of people, just not my favorite, but this is bergamot peel, mandarin, freesia. Again, I'm telling you, they do love their flowers. Jasmine petals, water lily, orchid. And then we're coming into what they love, which is the amber and musk. And I'm like, I can already tell. <laughs> that this isn't gonna be for me, but I do think that a lot of people are gonna read these notes and they're gonna be like, oh, absolutely. Half Magic is also releasing the squeezy tubes. Everybody's releasing squeezy tubes. I'm already over it, but I do like Half Magic, but these are the Lip Snuggle High Pigment Oil Balms in a squeezy tube. The color selection is really beautiful. There's a bunch of like more nudie colors for different skin tones and different undertones. They look cute, $20 each, I just, I don't need another one of these. I really don't, I don't want any more squeezy tubes. And I love them, I love them. My favorite, still the Naturium ones. Still the Naturium ones, uh, that's the one I carry around in my purse all the time. Love it, the beige one, ugh, it's my favorite. I'm almost done, 
I almost used it up. I think it's beautiful. Th I just, I don't want more. I don't want more. This one I will be trying though. One of my favorite makeup products. One thing that I always use. You know when people are like, name your three like products for like, you're doing your makeup and you can only pick three products. What do you pick? Brow gel, concealer, lip pencil. Love love lip pencils and this one is a new one from Maybelline and a lip pencil in these many good colors from the drugstore oh I am a million percent trying this one it looks absolutely beautiful and I am excited I'm gonna pick up at least one of these oh these are available now I will link them down below I don't even know where they are available myself but I will definitely pick up at least two of these they look absolutely beautiful I love lip liners and it's actually like maybe I'm saying too much now that's one of my dream projects to be doing myself for Singe one day because lip pencils, I am so picky with consistency, with color selection, with everything. And I just love lip pencils. I love them so much. I'm wearing this one from Makeup by Mario today. Tan one, it's one of my favorite ones, but I'm like, I would love to find another one that I love from the drugstore. Clinique will never give up on the black honey. And now we have the black honey a lip and cheek oil. I don't know if I want a cheek oil in any capacity on my skin. Like I only use an oil on my skin if I'm like, oh, my skin is in rough shape. And I just put on like the essence, the serums, the, the creams, and then seal it in with an oil during night. If I use an oil during the day, <clears throat> my skin, my skin will just look at me and be like, oh, that's a bold move girl i don't know what you were thinking absolutely not so i cannot do that but a lip oil in the black honey shade i feel like this is one of those things that's either going to sell really well because people love black honey or people are going to look at this and they're going to be like how i feel where it's like is there like nothing more you can give us because clinique's black honey is borderline turning into like the Orgasm Lagoon of NARS or the Pillow Talk of Charlotte Tilbury. Like, surely there has to be something more. Ariana Grande that owns REM Beauty now, I think she bought it back. She did hint that she was gonna do a, um, a collab with Wicked, the movie that is premiering on Christmas, I think, this year that she is starring in. And this is the sneak peek. And the sneak peek is stunning. I actually really enjoy a bunch of REM products. They have beautiful bullet lipsticks. Their highlighters are stunning. Their liquid shadows are really good quality. Their lip liners are pretty decent too. And their foundation is fantastic. I mentioned the foundation in my yearly favorites of last year. It is a beautiful foundation and this looks stunning. I'm excited. Oh, it is holiday 2024. It says coming soon. It's not coming soon. Trend mood. Trend mood, you're even saying holiday 2024. You can't be saying coming soon. But I will say holiday 2024 for big retailers means September, October, maybe even August. We did talk about this a while ago, but we have been able to see them in Target stores now. And these are the new glosses by e.l.f. Cosmetics. They come in different shades and they have an SPF 25. I mean, SPF 25 is not enough, but honestly, getting some SPF on your lips, especially if you're going to be outdoors, it's really smart because I feel like lips is the one thing we totally forget needs SPF 2. We will slather our faces and our shoulders and our decollete with all kinds of creams and then we burn our lips to a crisp. I've seen it happen to my friends. You're probably watching this right now and you're like, Ooh, we know. So just putting on a little SPF on your lips can really help. And this is four different colors and it looks really beautiful. I That orangey one, I mean, it has my heart. Like, look at that. That's so beautiful. So I might be interested in this one because I love having a little bit of SPF on in a gloss or in a, like a stick or something when I'm by the pool. So I think this is a good idea and I think it's a smart release. And I think that that will be everything for today. I am sure that this video is not super long, but I'm, like I said, I'm having a near-death experience here. And if you're interested in this look, it will be linked in the description box. Thank you so much for being here and for bearing with me when I am just a tired wreck. But I wanted to talk about those new makeup releases and I really wanted to play with the new Glamlight collection. I will be playing hopefully tomorrow with the Lethal Cosmetics one so that I can show you all about that collection because didn't that look absolutely stunning. I cannot wait for you to see that one. And yeah, I hope you're having an amazing Sunday and I'll see you soon again. Bye.